<laughs> what do we have here today? We got the PSVR 2. Well, we're back again. So welcome back to our channel. Um, we got, last time we were together to do a review, we did the um, uh, Unreal Air. Yeah, right? that was it. It was the Unreal yeah. Air. And I think some of you guys liked that because it was a combo deal. So here he, he is back again. Um, let's talk a little bit about the VR2. It's been out for a little bit now. I don't even know how long it's been out. I'm gonna be completely honest. I like to say it's been out for two months now, approximately. Two, three months. Okay. Okay. Um, we didn't jump on it right away. Yeah, we didn't because I've been super skeptical about this. He wanted to buy one as soon as possible. I do because one of the things that they advertise for, which we will show you later, um, is that it does go along with Gran Turismo 7. And if you watch a lot of the YouTubers out there and other videos and other reviews, that's been a big thing because you can literally wear it and be virtually in a cockpit. Yeah, it basically replaces what I understand as a racing setup. You don't need a whole bunch of monitors. You don't need a massive widescreen monitor anymore. Just via so, headset. So to one of our family member, Uncle Jeff, who has a, a full racing gig, a rig, I mean like one, like three huge screens, uh, moving, wind tunnel, the whole nine yards. This is supposed to be more immersive immersing right then that whole ex however much that guy spent on it and a lot less mechanical now i think we want to do the unboxing and kind of go through the feels and touches from our perspective because overall we have had multiple iteration we had um let's count so we started out with the oculus riff right yeah we it was the original rift i believe so th remember that was the one that has like uh, two cameras in the back, which yep. you had to set up. You had to have a USB hub to plug all these yep. USB cables in. It was it was a it was a production. There was a lot that you needed for it. Right, and, and the library wasn't that great either. It grew over time, but it still didn't reach a point where it was like, yeah, I'll play this instead of just sitting down at my PC. Right. So so that was our first attempt of, v, uh, of VR. Yep. Then we got. Uh, then we got the um, Quest 2. Yeah, it was the Oculus Quest 2. Which is the white thing, um, a lot, no, no more wires other than charging. Yep. Um, and that was okay. It was a good step. It, it was. Def it definitely sold pretty well. It was cheap because it, um, we, even though we purchased the 60 or 120 gig. I don't know. Well, we, I don't even know. yeah, it was, I think it came at a 32 gig and then a 64 gig um, com storage capacity. And we got the 64 gig one because we always thought more room because you, it's not like you can plug in a, a SD card and, and expand the memory. And um, I think we had, did we purchase any games? One or two maybe? There were a few. We had a couple that came like cross platform between the, the Quest and the Rift. So I kind of just played those most of the time. And that was okay. That was, that was, that was good stuff for it, but I had a problem with it. I didn't like the screen door effect, right? Right. I thought the resolution on that thing, while it was only three hundred fifty dollars um, MSRP, um, and you know taxes out in California, almost four hundred bucks, it was somewhat reasonable. Um, the interactive engagement with it, it was, it was, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't yeah. great. But the screen door effect really, like, really stumbled for me. I did watch something neat on there. I watch on Facebook because in the meta world. They did have a concert with the Notorious B.I.G. Uh, concert, and I watched that during the summertime. And I really didn't enjoy it. Even though I use a more upgraded um, headphone set and, and virtual, and you can interact with other people, more, no more than six people in a, in a room. You can go to different rooms and different crowds are in there. It was very, one, it was very cartoon-like, which it should be because it's more of a virtual world, right? That's debatable. But my biggest problem with it was that it looked like flat Stanley. So if you are, if you're the one out there that's watching like rap artists and things like that, imagine Biggie Small in a big Stanley flat cutout. It was not enjoyable. And the resolution was mediocre. So that's that. We can't really, we're not gonna be able to review a lot of the resolution and our, and our experience with it yet. Right. But this is an unboxing. So do you have your uh, blade? I do indeed. Wanna do this? 
All right. All right, you cut that one, I cut this one. All right. And just to note, um, Best Buy did not sponsor this. We bought this from Best Buy. Yep. And what's our primary reason why we're gonna, we bought it from Best Buy? To send it back. <laughs> this guy here is so skeptical of us keeping this. He believes that there is a 90 to 95% chance we're gonna return it, or I'm gonna return it. Because one of the things about this is the application of it. There's really only one game that I'm looking forward to playing in it. Yep. With it, which is Gran Turismo 7. So with that, let's open this guy up. Other uh, people have done unboxing. Now, this is not the Verizon package, Horizon package. Yes, it is not. This is just the normal, traditional VR2 combo. And packaging seems to be okay. We have a box within a box. Box, oh yeah. As per usual. And it's a pretty deep box. Oh, good lord. I All think right. we're gonna have to flip this. Yeah. Got it. There you go, box within a box. Hey, at least, look, origami, it folds. Yeah. All right, so this could be put away. Guess what? You're gonna need your blade again. There's another <laughs> cut. So that was another cut right here. Okay. Open it up. All right, so what do we have here, Justin? You go first. So, you can, uh... so far we have another box. This is probably just our cables, manual and stuff. And then underneath we got up front the two controllers, which as far as I'm aware, they're just literally a split dual sense controller. And then here in the bottom of it, we have the headset itself. Okay, there's nothing else in here. So just for those who are watching, that's it. I'm gonna put the box down. Okay, so how about I'll do one, you do one. Okay, start with the controllers. Controllers, uh, controllers, nothing fancy. Very PS2-like feel. Left and right, I think I have the left one. Yeah, you, you have, have the, the right one. one. I have the right one. Um, the buttons are very tactile. They're quite clicky. So there's a, it looks like there's a USB-C here. Yeah, I believe everything on this headset is Type-C. Type-C. Very good. Yeah, thank God. No, yeah, Apple. No. Very good. Well, let's get the one that's not connected. So this is dual sense to compare. So Justin's con PS5 controller and versus this. Of course, it will be a uniform color, right? Senses in the PlayStation family, especially the same iteration. So that's that. Uh, let's open a box. Okay. So to Justin Point, there's a USB cable. Yep. And then, ah, uh, here's the fancy earbuds that they have. Um, I think depending on what we will do, we'll, we'll figure it out, but maybe get headphones or use one of our headphones. Pretty interesting. Oh, very, yeah. very dinky. I guess this, so there's a, Three and a half millimeter jack. I'll take it that it'll probably plug in the headset and it goes left and right ear, right? Yep. And it does have some ear tips, nothing fancy, silicone. Yeah. It's not like memory foams or anything like that. Yeah, I will say these do feel relatively cheap. Very cheap, to be honest. Like this this is literally like $4.99 from Amazon. Yeah. That's that's, that's how yeah, it feels. That's the best way to put it. I mean, so okay. It's so these. we it's the these. manual as well. Yep. We don't need that. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to plug this these in, but what I would say is, um, I don't know. Ta-ta! There's the headset itself. So it has a really long cable, Justin. It does because it's not wireless at well, all. You well, yeah, you would expect a long cable, right? Yeah, you need a long cable for this. So without going through the full logistics of this, a lot of reviewers did say that, um, I, I believe I watched, um, uh, um, one of them said, you can, you, you cannot, you cannot take the wire out of the unit. Right. That's my understanding. So it is a permanent tethering type of device. Um, the cord seems to be quite long. If you can hold that for me. One. Yeah. Very, pretty long. It's, I mean, you expect it to, long. right? Because you want to be able to maneuver around your unit, which you're going to be attaching to. Um, the unit itself, believe it or not, it doesn't feel that heavy. I wouldn't want it to feel heavy. Oh yeah, of course not, but it, it doesn't feel heavy. 
It definitely looks heavier than it feels. Yeah. I will say that. It does look bulky, but it's quite light, actually. Yes. I'm sure you can look up the weight and the weights listed. Um, here's the inside, if you guys can see it at all. Um, this is like a silicone. It's not a foam. Right. It's a silicone feel. And the cushions in the front and back are also silicone. Oh yeah, they are. They're not like a sponge that could really absorb sweat, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. It's not powered up. There's a button here. There's a button there. Don't know what that's there's for. A, there's a dial here. Don't know what this is for. And this is to control the, uh, I believe, I read that this is to control the, oh, you have to push it yeah, in. Yeah, you push it in and then you turn it or something Oh yeah, like something that. like that. So we'll adjust through all that. Oh, and then on, so there's one, two, three, four, four cameras in the front that we can tell. And then there's also buttons on the bottom and there's a, it looks like a mic, mic. That probably is a mic. And then here's the power button, it looks like, or site recycle, power buttons here. So we're just gonna have to play around with it and then give you some, you guys some feedback with this. But this is our, I don't know, this is 400, no, this is $549 um, out of the gate, just for this combo, without the game. With the game, I think it's $599 with the Horizon. And, and we didn't feel like we were really gonna need that for now. Oh, um, and you can tell, Justin, look, in the middle here. Yep, you got an IR sensor. That's an IR sensor there. So this will be very cool. What is that terminology you said this thing does? Um, foveated rendering. Okay, explain what the heck that is. So basically, to save resources, this headset will track where your eyes are looking and only render the part you're focusing on at full resolution. The rest of it will be at a lower resolution, so it should perform better. We'll tell you how it, how it kind of pans out. It's hard to record VR content off of the headset. Um, you know, so I, I, I'm really not even going to attempt that. Uh, but what I would say is that, oh, I forgot to highlight. I think this is the headphone jack right here, right behind this wire here. Oh yes, that is the headphone, headphone jack. jack. There's another hole here. I don't think that's for anything else, but this is the headphone jack. So at least they're smart enough to, I don't know if it's good or bad, but kept all the wires on one side of, of your head. So we'll check it out, but I don't know. So in the beginning of the video, I think we mentioned that it's about a 90 to 95% chance this thing's going back. Without turning it on, do you still feel the same? Yes. And that's mainly due to the library of games. There's just not a lot for us to play. That's fair. So we're gonna we're gonna try two things with this unit. Um, the video coming up next, hopefully uh, soon, is gonna be our experience with what we have as a racing setup for my Gran Turismo 7. You're gonna see that. Please don't laugh, but you'll see it. And then if all goes well, we're gonna try to attempt a third video, third part to this video, which is, Plugging it into a gaming laptop. So here's here's the word. So on a regular computer, if you're using a uh, 1080 or a 3080 or 40 uh, 4000 series graphics card, it's not um, it's not capable because why? It doesn't have a Type C port. Now, you, from what we have researched, you can buy an adapter to do that. But we have two gaming laptops that are. Um, 20, two, 2000 series. Yes. You have a 2070, well, whatever, yeah. something like that. We have a 2000 series, uh, uh, two laptops. Additionally, guess what? Since I'm a Mac user and you're a Mac user, and this is a Type C, what do you think we're gonna do? We're gonna try and plug it in. There you go. So please stay tuned. Please subscribe as always. I uh, really appreciate you guys' support, but this is the unboxing of the uh, PS5 VR2. That's a mouthful. Yep. Okay. All right, you guys. Peace out. Stay tuned.